For more on the Israel violations, we're joined by Ralph Schoenman, author of Hidden History of Zionism uh, on Skype from Berkeley, California. Uh, Mr. Schoenman, thank you for joining us on World News. Uh, these uh, settler violence, which is occurring against the Palestinians uh, in basic form, because it's become so allowable, uh, has created a climate of impunity. Uh, why is that? Why is it that uh, Israeli settler violence is continued and continued more and more as we go further? Because the Israeli settler violence is an extension of the root policy of the Zionist state itself. When partition occurred in Palestine, there were over 950,000 Palestinians. They inhabited 500 villages in all the major cities, including Tiberias and Safed and Nazareth and Shafa Amr and Acre and Haifa and Jaffa and Lida and Ramla and Jerusalem and Najdal and Ashdod and Beersheba. And within six months, only about 138,000 Palestinians remained they were forcibly expelled. They were slaughtered across the length of Palestine. Nowhere has this been better expressed than by Moshe Dayan, the former chief of staff and minister of defense. He said, we came here to a country populated by Arabs, and we are building here an exclusive Hebrew Jewish state. Instead of Arab villages, Jewish villages were established. You do not, you do not even know the names of these villages, and I do not blame you because these geography books no longer exist. Not only the book, the villages do not exist, he states. Mahala was established in place of Mahalul, Jivat in place of Jibda Sarid, in the place of Hanifas, and Hanajar Yeshashur in the place of Tel Shaman. There's not a single settlement not established in the place of a former Arab village. To make clear what this is about, the head of the Israeli Human Rights Society, Israel Shahak, actually did a complete documentation and chart of Arab villages and, and cities destroyed. Out of 475, 385 were razed to the ground. Of the remaining 90, the land was confiscated. That's the nature of the Zionist state's colonization of Palestine. The plunder embraced not only 385 towns and villages in their entirety, but large sections of 94 other cities and towns, including 25% of all buildings, thousands upon thousands of businesses and retail stores taken and stolen and handed over. The Palestinian uh, uh, industry, the Palestinian olive oil, the Palestinian stone uh, 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 quarries, their, their production, this is the nature of the Zionist occupation of Palestine, and the settlements in the West Bank are the little bloody continuation of this root policy, which is at the heart of Zionist colonization of Palestine. It is an ongoing process with the full might and power, not only of the Zionist state, but of its sponsors in Washington. Well, Mr. Shulman, if, if we want to disregard the Israeli government, which is doing nothing, uh, there's more than uh, two million Palestinians living in the West Bank. Even international communities, for example, the UN Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights is allowing this to occur. Nothing is happening uh, to protect uh, the Palestinians. Yes. What you're referring to in the West Bank is 17 percent of historic Palestine, and only a fragment of that 17 percent is actually inhabited uh, by Palestinians that has been encroached upon by settlements and steady erosion of East Jerusalem and all the surrounding area. And there are the five to six million Palestinians who have been driven into exile. And there are the people who are inside the Green Line, namely the area occupied up to 1967. And there are the people of Gaza. All of the Palestinian people are the victims of this, not just the inhabitants of the, of the West Bank. The West Bank represents a fragment of the total dispossession of the, of the Palestinian people. This is the seizure of a nation, the seizure of a country, the seizure of their land, the seizure of their towns and villages and their production, and the relentless massacre and expulsion of the inhabitants. And then they are pursued in refugee camp after refugee camp, in war after war. That's the character of these permanent wars on the part of the Zionist state and of imperialism in the region. The West Bank is but the little expression of this total catastrophe. Okay, thank you for that. Ralph Showman, author of Hidden History of Zionism, joining us on Press TV's World News from Berkeley, California.